I've been doing computer science for 20 years longer than these students, and every time I see their first animation project, I think, oh my god, I never would have thought of that. <laughs> yeah, there's all these little things I'm like, oh yeah, that's a new thing. It didn't dawn on me to do it this way. Very few high schools offer CS, and a lot of our intro CS students just wanted to know what computer science is. Rather than just program stuff in the console, they learn program concepts and they use it to create works of visual art. So now you're not just trying to memorize how to write a for loop, you're applying it to something that you're excited to solve. It's like a foreign language, like how do I convert my thoughts about what I want the computer to do into instructions to make the computer do it. Looking back at project one, after we do <laughs> project 11, and thinking about how, oh my god, 12 weeks ago it took me five hours to draw that star. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's tremendous growth throughout the course, I mean tremendous. It allows students to do things that they may ordinarily want to do in other areas of academics and the arts. No matter what problem it is that you are excited to solve, if you want to write a genetic algorithm, if you want to do particle swarm optimization or control a robot at Boston Dynamics someday, these are going to be the same tools. Computer science is the perfect thing to study if you're interested in everything. <laughs>